Hey guys, this is Josh, and this short video is going to explain to you how to do what I've done here on the iBuildYourBrand.com site. So if you come to our site here, iBuildYourBrand.com, and you like just come to this homepage and you scroll, you'll notice this bar up here, this menu bar with the logo and the navigation menu that sticks to the top of the screen as you scroll. You'll also notice that it's pretty full width. And what's interesting about this is that this whole site is built on ClickFunnels.com. Um, ClickFunnels is a great tool. If you don't have it, I strongly, strongly recommend you get it. Incredible tool you can do a lot with. In my opinion, I think it's better than WordPress. Um, you know, there can be some SEO stuff there that WordPress is better, but as far as building attractive websites and funnels, I think ClickFunnels is the best at the end of the day. There's just so much you can do with it. Um, you know, just a lot of control, versatility, and you can make things like this. This top scroll bar, um, the navigation menu and logo, that's pretty full width. And I'm going to show you today how I built this. Um, so let's just hop into ClickFunnels here, and I'll literally show you behind the scenes this page right here. So this page just loaded. And you'll notice I have this bar up here at the top. And in the editor, this is the editor version 2, I don't actually, um, it doesn't actually stick. And how I do this is I have a section up here. If I hover here, you can see this section. And the section has uh, some columns in it, has a row in it. And the row contains elements, two elements. And it's a double um, column row here. And what's interesting about this is if you tend to build a row, and I'll show it now, if I click to build a new row, like this, and I pick a two column row, you'll notice, or let me actually do it somewhere, uh, give me a second. What you'll notice is if, if I come down here and build a row, two column row, by default it's only this wide. That's not very wide for a row. What I've, what I've done with this navigation menu is make this row much wider, in fact, full width across the screen, while the default is this kind of like half page uh, deal here. Um, and I've also made it stick to the top. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do this, um, probably by just building out a completely new uh, page in this funnel. So I'm going to leave this page here and I'll just build a new step so let me come down here and click add new step we'll just call this demo uh, menu bar create funnel step <clears throat> okay let's just pick a, um, a blank page maybe so opt-in blank start, we'll select this template. So I'll show you how to build it from scratch. We'll just go ahead and edit this page. And um, let's delete everything. So delete the section. We're going to add a new section. I'm going to do a full width section for this top menu bar. And again, notice how small this row is by default. Um, I'll pick a two column row. And again, it's only half the page in terms of width. We want this thing to go all the way across. So this is actually very easy to do. All you do is you come to settings right here, come to get CSS info um, in the bottom right hand corner. I click this, I get this section ID right here, CSS ID um, selector. I'm gonna copy this, copy. Come up to settings, custom CSS, and I will paste this, do a space. The space is actually very important. I don't know why CSS does this, but you want to do a space and type container enter. Okay. You want to do open curly bracket, close curly bracket. And then here on the inside, I'm going to type width um, 100%, like that. And then you want to put this important tag and then end with a semicolon. So here, I've put in that section ID 
space dot container enter um the spelling and capitalization does matter matter so container enter with a capital I here for the enter open curly bracket close curly bracket and in the in the center here you want width colon space 100% space um, that's an uh, exclamation point important semicolon I think you can also, you know, if, if you want to, you don't have to be that fancy with the formatting. You can actually just keep everything inside these curly brackets here like this, okay? But you see, that's made this thing completely full width, um, which is just awesome. People don't know this little hack exists, and they're kind of constricted to this very, uh, you know, not full width idea for columns and elements and all that kind of stuff. So this is a very neat hack that you can use to change a lot of things in your ClickFunnels design. I use it all the time. I think it's very powerful for, for full width images, full width uh, menu bars, all that kinds of stuff. So now I'm just going to uh, make this more like the discovery, or not discovery, the um, home page and I build your brand. We're going to do a top padding of five, a bottom padding of five, like that for the section. And I'm going to move this here, element, and you can put an image. This would be the logo right here. So I would come here, pick image, put the logo here, and then here I'll put the navigation menu. So the navigation menu um, is right here. If you can't find it, you can just go to search elements and search nav, and you'll find navigation. And now I will just kind of put my, uh, my stuff here. I'll go to advanced. I'll make this five links, and I'll put stuff like my discovery form, the uh, the testimonials. Okay. Um, I don't know what's good here. Um, things up then. Uh, services, you know, about us, and then you know maybe contact us, something like that. And what you'll notice is if you did this with five things like this in a not full width column, this would be very scrunched. It would look something more like this, where it starts to overlap itself, which is just not attractive for a website. So again, we want to have this full width kind of section. Um, you know, you can change whatever color you would like. Let's see if we want a, you know, bluish green, one of my favorite colors. And then for the demo image, Okay, and now I'm going to resize that image. So I'm going to say I want a height of about maybe 80 pixels. There we go. I want this, you know, centered a bit more um, vertically in the page so it kind of matches the uh, logo. Let's first get rid of, okay, there's no margin there. There's margin on this uh, column by default, this row. So I'm going to make this also 5 and 5. Let's move this again to vertically align it. Um, let's put maybe a 30, yeah, there we go, maybe 35, 35 pixels, I think it looks pretty nice, and the last thing I'll do is come to the section up here, click the settings, come to advanced, and I will add a drop shadow, a 30% drop shadow, and there you go, that's, that's basically the logistics of building this entire top menu bar. Oh, also, one last thing, if you want it to stick to the top of the page, you come to advanced, um, no it's not, it's in settings, settings, sticky, stick to top on scroll, that easy guys, so that's pretty much done, um, you can add a link to this image if you want to make it go home, so we'll just say link URL target, we want it to go to, you know, I build your brand's homepage, like that, and you can add links in here and all that stuff. Um, I can't actually scroll on this page, um, but, but trust me in good faith, this is pretty much identical to this one right here. Uh, it's, it's that easy, you put a drop show on it, you, you make it stick to the top, and you add this little bit of custom CSS code right here, make sure you grab that section ID, and then this right here is the same every single time. Um, yeah, that's how you make a a menu bar that sticks to the top of your screen, has a navigation menu, and is full width. I hope this helps with building your sites on ClickFunnels, and uh, I look forward to giving you guys more content in the future.